Hi there and welcome to KMC Gaming and this is my Minecraft tutorial on how to build a star rustic house, you know, can something with a little bit of detail, not just something basic, can, you know, moderate. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to spend the next 40 odd minutes uh, putting this together. So not only that, but we will be doing the path that you see uh, all the way around it and all the detail and, and even one custom tree obviously you could put more in but I'll do one custom tree but overall what we'll do is we'll build this up and then um, at the end of it I reckon um, I'll do a final preview of it in shaders so you can see what it looks like when it's finished in shaders so uh, without further ado let's go so <clears throat> start off with the five logs going up. Now you can pick whatever material you want. Now I'm using this. You can see what I've got. Now you can copy what I've got or not. It's up to you. But anyway, normally people would do one, two, three, four, and then five. But we're not doing a five, we're doing a seven. So take this. I should have really cleared up the area. Take this away and put it there. So it's five up. <clears throat> and then uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be counting it out for 11, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, get that out of the way, 8, 9, all of this out of the way, 10, and then we're going to place it there, so that's 11, so, yeah, that's right, yeah, so 11. Now, you can make it bigger or smaller, but if you want to follow what I'm doing, do exactly as I'm doing, so we need to bring it to the 7 again, and put in 5, and then I'm going to speed this bit up, are you ready? And done. Uh, so obviously repeat what I've just done there and then we'll get to the next bit. So what I like to start off with is the stair bit. Where I'm going to go in now, some people like to put their doors off sighted a little bit, you know, so it's off to the side like this. But we're going to do a door, a door in the middle. So everything's going to be symmetrical and easy and you can adjust it if you wish. But there is our basic door. So we know our door is going to go there. Now, uh, my choice of stair will be this slab here. So, like I say, you can use this material or something else. It's up to you. So, three down. And then I think I'll go one more. And then diagonal one to the left. All right, up to you. Uh, then like that. And then bring it down again. Oh. Uh, there we are. Oh, there we are. And do you know what? I don't know why I'm going now covered up but anyway there we go there's my stairs that I would like to have so now I need to build the uh, casing so basically start off oh I really should have cleared this area right so start off here and here now obviously we modify as we go so that was one and two and then three and then one two three and then a four and one two three four again and then one two three four and the five one just now but like I say we're going to modify this as we go so you now know how it's going to build so one and two and then obviously again three and then four and then just match it up again like so and then what we're going to do is now we're going to start modifying because as you can see there's like blocks where it needs to be covered up so from there you do something like that and then what we can do is we can start getting the fencing out and we start placing them random because it can obviously it's not random but it looks random uh, and what you do is see like there see so that one needs an extra one because it wasn't fully covered then put one like that these ones on this side are okay so just do normal fencing and like that now break these other blocks away because we're going to have them as stairs like so and now we should have something basic like that and what we want to do is uh, close up the back of it actually. Might as well get that out of the way. So just simply seal it up and you're done. So now we have our basics. So we want to uh, put this in. Uh, what I'll do is, <clears throat> I think I'll speed this up a little. Here we go. There we are. So you fill yours in and uh, from there what I'll do is I'm going to do my covering underneath. Now what I normally do is um, I've covered just the wood that I've just put down there, you know, the planks, so not on the bark, just there. So let's speed this up. There we go. So that's now covered. 
And uh, what that does is, is it allows us to take blocks out and be able to put other stuff in and it will affect the underneath. Uh, right, so now what I want to do is um, put these in like a sort of a support. And it looks really cool. So you want to be doing this, oh, you want to be doing this on the bottom and top like this. And you want to be doing on all four of those uh, poles. So I'll let you do that and we'll move on. Alright, so once you've got all four covered like that, it's a case of getting the fence that you want. Now I'm using the old dark oak. Okay, I'm kind of going with that kind of theme. So now all you want to do is put it round. So it just kind of breaks it all up. Like so. So there we are. So now you've got your, your support beams for your house which are just your first support beams because we're going to put some more in now. Uh, but there's your basic start. Right. Now, what we want to be doing is uh, putting in a balcony area. Now I'm going to be doing the five like that. But you know, some people might want to make it bigger. Like for instance, uh, making it a little bit wider if you wish. But we're not going to do that. We're going to do like five in there. So five out in total. And then, like so, like before, on an end, so you get the same theme. There we are. And then all we do is we build them down. Oh, missed it. Missed it again. There we go. So now, we'll do the stairs again. So once you've done that, we'll get back to it. Get food. And there we go, so they're all done like that, and then you just put the fence around as we did before, and that's our support studs in for the balcony area. So now I'm going to get myself some of the chunks out, put that out like that, put that like that, and then just bring it out. And later on, what I'm going to be doing is I'll be taking out some of that wooden planks um, for some decoration. But right now, there's your basic structure. So next, better cover this up quickly. And there we go. <clears throat> Leave that blank, that's fine. So, next is uh, structure again. Here we go. Right, so what we're gonna be doing is uh, we're gonna put in some sort of wall structure. So obviously it's gonna be a window like that, but you want first, you wanna, let's do the frame. So that's going to be five again, as you can see. One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then this time, put it not on the fourth one, but actually on this one. So then the frame goes around like this. In fact, what we'll do is we'll just build the frame all the way around. It's dead easy. Just like the first one on the bottom section. Just build it up as we did before. There we go. Like that. And make sure to put one on top as well. Uh, go and then straight along just now because we will be adjusting this as we go it's just sort of a guideline as we go right. just a bit there and there we are so now we need to start doing wall structure and I'm going to be using the broken uh, sort of stone brick and it's basically just layer it in, <clears throat> leaving window sections and it builds itself, <clears throat> literally. There you go, two windows on the, these side ones because these side ones are just uh, going to be basic as well. So just put it in all the way around like so and leave it like that. And the same on this side. And there we go. And now what we want to do is we want to get the planks, sorry, not the planks, the actual bark again, as I like to call it. And we're going to put in a structure all the way up. And again. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to fill it up this time. We're not going to have any windows there. There we are. Nice and neat. There we go, we have a start. So now, 
we need to build a sort of doorway. I'm going to do a sort of a, like a, um, I don't know, a cross. Yeah, we'll do a cross style. So we need some stairs out. Stair there, stair there. Stair there and stair there. And then just finish it off with another broken or whatever material you're using as your wall and just join it up like that. So there we go, we've got our basic structure now. This is only the start obviously, but we have our basic structure. Looking good. So what to do is while we're here, put this in, but leave a gap there, like that. And then we're gonna put in a stair there and there because obviously it's gonna be part of the decor. So better get one of them out. Another artwood. Artwood? Hmm. Anyway, let's move on. So now what we're doing is we're just going around with that stone stair or whatever material you're using and putting it down below and up above underneath the oak wood there and on top of it like so just like you did below on the uh, supports exactly the same um, but I'll show you how you do it you know we might as well take our time in doing this just in case you want to go back and have a look you can go back and see where you may be gone wrong or maybe where you've gone right and you can adjust it to your own uh, ways so now obviously we're going to put this in again this breaks it always this always breaks it up i like this so putting some more fencing in we will do it here as well because this is part of the decor now it's an outside wall so now we're getting layers to the outside wall so now it doesn't feel so flat you know because that's what you're looking for you're looking for blockiness you're looking for layers and we will be building layers, trust me. So, there we go. Uh, for these windows, I usually just put a fence in, a fence there. And I would put a banner up on either side and make them look like curtains, but I'm not gonna do it in this build. Just gonna put up the uh, fences. There we are, and there we go. Right. Next, what I'm looking to do is actually do the roof we want to get this started so as you can see i've just gone from this end block twice do it again so one there one and two and break it away now we're going to use the planks and the stairs of uh, dark oak so now it's a plank and a plank and then you want to do another stair because the shape i'm going to go with it's basic at start and then we build it up as we go you see so now it's just planks so as you can see there's a theme going on here it's a plank a stair upside down, a plank, a stair upside down. So you get the idea. <clears throat> we'll keep on doing it. I'm going to show you how you do it on this side. And then uh, basically what you do is you repeat it on the adjacent side, as you see there. And, you know, we'll get back to it from there. So what to do is you build that on the other side too. And we'll get on with it. Right, so I've got the two of them done, like what you should have now. So now that we've got that, we need to put the roof together. Now we're gonna do it very basically. So what you see is uh, the bottom section is a stair. So you start off by just putting a layer along. Now don't worry about the gap underneath that you're gonna see there or any gaps that come up because we will be dealing with them in a little while. So there we go. Now next, that'll be the block. So we want to do that. And basically you're gonna do this all the way along. So every single one now is just copying whatever the blank is. So you're gonna do another plank and then we get to here at this point, so now you can see the basic structure of the roof. So, we'll do this next bit together because it's a bit harder. We're going to be putting in the uh, balcony roof as well. So, first of all, let me get some of the dark oak fencing. Uh, one, two, and three will do the now. One, two, and three. Right, so now I'm going to be uh, starting to shape the roof up and it's basically going to be the exact same as what you see on the other side, but just turning in at this point here at that log where it won't cover it and come along this way. So uh, let me show you. So as you know, the bottom one. <clears throat> so along to this one here, but then we want to be turning and then going out. And we want to be going out one past, is that right? Uh, that's one past, so one past the actual last log, so that's that. We'll do that on this side as well, like so. Turn, and along here, <clears throat> excuse me. There we go. Uh, next, uh, it's gonna be the plank. 
So you take the plank along, as you did before, and just bring it along. Nice and easy. Do the same here. Always very easy way to uh, build up is just do the layers in small layers, and honestly, you won't regret it. You won't regret it. So we bring them along like so. Now, on the next one, you're going to find that the layers are going to be different, but that's okay because we'll sort that out in the roof. Because I like it being, it doesn't have to be perfect that way. I mean, you can do it uh, one layer up, but I'm not going to. I'm going to do it this way. So there we go like that. So we have our basic structure there. Bring this one along. <coughs> like so. And then bring this one all the way along to the end. And we're almost there with our basic roof. Almost there. So now what I want to do is I'm going to get the stair, dark oak stair out quickly. Uh, in fact, no, fix the fence there and there. And now we'll get the dark oak stair out. Oh, I've got it. And we want to get the trimming going. So put the trim there. Upside down stair there and there, and then just put one there just now, <clears throat> just to make it nice and basic and easy. Uh, with this one, we'll put a stair like that just now. We'll go to the other side, and we shall put a stair in there just now, and then we'll get the normal plank and just layer it along. Nice and easy. Right, so next what we want to be doing now is we just want the single stair in stone and uh, what we'll do is we're going to go up one by one, like so. So it's just going to be like that, so you're going to have uh, that pattern and then we're going to do an underneath stair flush, like so. Uh, so it's like that, because we're going to do more details on this, but <clears throat> that's the way it's going to be just now. We're going to do the same on the other side that and it and it I'm gonna do most of this uh, together with you right yeah like so so you get the idea how to do that you put one of these in at the top like so and then what we want to do is we want to do this sort of little uh, peak bit so we'll do that and that just like that so now it looks uh, partial part so what I'm looking for right now is a stone slab I'll do put that away and we're gonna go along with it just like that just a little bit of trimming <clears throat> we're not gonna be putting a chimney on this one so um, right next we're gonna do the balcony section now this might turn it a little bit different at the start but we'll fix it so one up and uh, right up to the top is like you did before as you can see, there's going to be a little bit of difference, but we'll sort that out. Uh, I'll just do that as a guideliner now. And, oh, underneath. We're going to do the underneath stairs. So it's flush. Right, so, for this bit, we're going to sort it out with, uh, wait a minute, what will I do first? Put that like that. That's just a guideline now, don't worry about it, we're going to fix that. <clears throat> Get the flat stone, put it along, just to trim it once again. And just with this, correlate it down. So one, two, put another one in, and one like that. And then uh, what we're going to do is, I'm going to skip the next bit, because obviously you know what to do on that bit there on the end, so you go do that. And then we'll get back to it. Uh, well, what I'll do is I'll fix this first. Uh, what we're going to do is just put a stone in. There we go. But like I say, the other one that needs to be done still, if you do that, and we'll catch up once uh, you've got to that point. Wait a minute, I'll get that in and that. Right, so now you should have what I've got. Um, pause just now if you need to take time to do it. But once you've got to this position, we now want to do pulse. So, uh, obviously, I'm not going to do all of them. 
just show you a couple. But what you need to do is all those peaks go around and uh, do a pole. So now you should have poles on six of them. So one, two, two on the balcony and two on the other side. So as you can see, what I've just done quickly is I've put some stairs in just to show you how it breaks up. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take a stair out just to show you where I put it. So let's leave the first one and put the stair in. Uh, let's see, that's how, the, how it was. Uh, right, so and all you do is you put the stair in the second one and then do it uh, vice versa all the way along uh, like so. See? And then what you want to do is um, you're going to want to do it like, uh, like the next one down it's going to be the block that, so I'll show you quickly, so it's going to be this block this time, so you take that one away and then you keep going along until you've got the pattern, uh, like so. What I'm doing is I'll just show you it quickly, but what we'll do is we'll skip past it so that I've got the whole roof done and we'll catch up from there. So like that. Right. So now I'm doing the bottom one, which would be the planks that you need to use on the bottom because that's already stairs, but you just do the vice versa again. So now you've got something like this. Uh, all you want to do is uh, the exact same as you did on the other side, pretty much. So vice versa, and just keep matching it up. Go down one, match it up again. I'll show you quickly on this side, but yeah. Just matching it up. So you do that and we'll catch up. Right, so now you should have something looking like this. So pause if you don't and just correct yourself. But like I said, it's just one down, coordinate, one down, coordinate, one down. So it's diagonal, you know. Um, so what we want to do now is we want to put in some stairs upside and downside. Uh, you're going to have to excuse me in a second. I'm going to have a tree in my way. So we'll probably just... Uh, Skip by that as well, because that's annoying. I need to get rid of it. There we go. The tree is gone magically. Right. Oh, missed it. Right. So you want to be pattern like that. It doesn't matter how it's going to add on the end because we're going to put a uh, block, uh, just a normal standard block on, and we're going to patch up some bits and bobs. So you want to do it again in here. So, and when you get to the corner, you need to turn it like you did before. Uh, this is sometimes tricky. See? See? There we go. And now you just keep going up and down till you get to the end. And like I say, it doesn't matter how the pattern finishes on that end because it's just going to be added via block. Right. Do it on the other side quickly. I'll show you and then we'll move on after that uh, like so dead easy up and down and there we go and uh, what would it look like with a step nah it's not gonna look good with a step we're gonna use block <clears throat> there we go just nice and simple and we're gonna decorate that to make it look not as bland anyway so so, like so, there we go, neaten up, neaten up, and there we go. Now we're going to do some patch up, I reckon, a little bit of patch up. So what we're going to do right here is we're just going to patch up inside there where we broke that block. Uh, actually, no. I'll take that block away. Forget that one. It's just the one above. So that, so it seals it up. And you're going to do that on both sides. So leave that gap there. Right. Once again, just from there, there, and then pop one in there. <clears throat> like 
so. And like so. What we're going to do now is we're going to patch up underneath a little. So just here, where the wood is, along there. Very simple. Easy as pie. Gonna do it on the other side. In there. Uh, we're gonna put it in. Oh, there like that. Can't make it through. So I'll have to go around. Like so. And we're gonna patch it up in there. <laughs> so you must have this like sort of basic construct now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to fill up the area. This is dead simple because it's going to be nice plain materials for the top. You know, nice and simplex. It looks really good. So it doesn't take much to do. Just literally layer it up like so. And then put a wee hole in the middle there. And we're going to put a wee window in there. And that looks great, you know. Can it, it looks really nice on a rustic build, you see. We're going to do the same here. Like so. Put a wee hole there. And there we go. So now we're just going to get a wee fence and put it in. Oops, missed it. There we go. We'll go to the other side, we'll put a fence in. And now we'll do a wee bit of detail. Get your fence in and connect that. Uh, we'll go to the other side. I'm going to put some fencing in there and connect that and we'll do it at the bottom as well and this is going to be the out trim of the outer layer like so there we go it helps break everything up as well adds nice texture just bring it all the way around even to here on the front of the balcony and the other side, once I get past this tree. And there we go. What we're gonna quickly do is, we're gonna get some wood and just patch it up here as well, and we'll patch it on inside in a little while. So now, oh, chucking the buttons away, do a wee bit of decoration of the buttons, might as well do it now since uh, we're not going to need to put any more material there. So that just gives it the finishing touch. There we go. <clears throat> Pardon me. And I think that's them all done on the bottom. And then we want to put them in the top sections as well. So in the middle here. Add three textures. Very simple, but effective. There we go. And that's the buttons done. <clears throat> Just quickly, I'm going to shape this bit up. I'm going to put in a block instead of a stair. Nice and simple. And like that, and we can go from there. So now you have the basis. So we're going to put in some leaves. I'm not going to show you how I'm doing them all. Obviously, all I want you to do is go diagonal down, all the way around on each one of the poles that you've put. And basically, we'll meet up at the end. And I'll skip this bit. So I'll see you soon. Right, so I've done all my poles. Uh, you should have something like this. We're going to do a little bit of decoration on the sides of the build and things like that, just to give it texture as well. Always nice to make it uh, look wild, per se. I'll put one more up there. Side, 
side, not on this side, just a bit of vines will go on there. So we'll put some in here. Nice wee diagonal pop like that. Yeah, put some on this side as well, why not? Nice and neat. Now, uh, quickly come back in and you'll have noticed I've put some grass into here, like that's why I put that bit in the bottom. So what you do is just randomly put some grass in, like this, you know, can, you can see it's very easy, you know, you could put a, a leaf block in or whatever and get your crafting table and put your crafting table out here because this is where you're going to do your crafting in your rustic home. And it's a nice view while you do it, so uh, why not? And there you go, looks quite nice. Uh, my mic had went down the pits there for a second. As you noticed, I put some leafage on those little bits. Um, you can do that yourself, obviously. Uh, but now you should be looking at something like this. You know, kind of like uh, if you followed the guideline, um, we should be looking at the same home. We'll put a little bit of uh, vines here and there. You can do it where you want. I'm just going to put mine randomly where I would like them. Uh, simple as that. there. Obviously when it grows in filler um, it'll look a lot nicer. Definitely. I hope this uh, tutorial has been easy to follow as well um, and hopefully you will be able to build this because it's a nice beautiful little scene to have as a home and then you can add extensions from there. Almost done. I think I'll put it right there. Yeah. Go. Overkill. It'll look quite nice actually, I'm not going to lie. Anyway. do now is quickly come back in, oh, put in the brick of choice that you've been using and we shall just put a centre bit along here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to decorate this place up a little bit quickly. Um, you can decorate any way you want obviously, uh, but this is uh, how I would set it the basis. So I'd probably have a you know, table and chairs here, nice and fancy, let's get a wee pressure plate out. Go. Uh, bed. Let's use a brown bed. There we go. Probably have my bed in the corner here with a bookcase. Uh, yeah. Let's get a bookcase out. That's not a bookcase. There we go. And um, where else would I? I'd probably have bookcases here and here. Over here, I would reckon, because I'm looking for a lot of chest space, so where would I put some chests? I would probably put chests, uh, almost definitely one at the back of here and one up here. Uh, definitely have a double chest down here somewhere. Play a room. Actually, uh, furnaces as well. Where would I put my furnace as well? Personally, because it's a beginner house, getting started up and everything. I'd probably just put them up here. Uh, that way you can access it with uh, the crafting table from where you're standing. So you can go back and forward, you know, so you're here and you can get to them from here with it moving. Yeah, so probably have it like that. Uh, probably have some more chests actually. Chest, put probably another set of chests there. So I'd have plenty of chest space. 
And then I'd probably just decorate it up with some, uh, I don't know, leaves actually. In fact, we'd better get a door. There we go, nice wee spruce door. Nice and simple. Uh, and just to break it up in here, I would probably add some foliage. So, a bit of odd foliage coming down there. Maybe a bit of foliage coming down to break up the bedroom area. So it feels more like a room. Like that. Yeah. Oh damn, I'm not going to do a lot. Put some vines in. It's just uh, obviously mainly the basis of the outside that I want to show you, but obviously you decorate the way you want. Right, bit patch this bit up. <coughs> Need dark oak. Where are you? Where are you? Do you know what? Just type it in. There we go. So, uh, put that in. And then, you know, came for added layer. Don't worry about sticking out like this, because it'll just add um, a little bit of shape to your uh, building, to be honest with you. Oh, there we go. Right, so now you should be looking at something like this. Right, so we're going to start the path. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll probably, uh, yeah, let's speed this up because this could take a while. Uh, so I'd rather um, speed it up a little. There we go. Now we're on cooking on gas. And now the idea of the path really is just to, you know, add decoration and the way I fence it all up and that it makes it harder for creepers just to come straight at you so they kind of follow you around the path. Um, so it's kind of like a, a way to keep creepers in tone and you just jump away from your area and take them into the grass. Oop, a little bit of terraform here. And uh, we're back on form, there we go. So yeah, basically there's multi-purposes to this thing. I mean, normally I would put in lighting and all sorts of stuff, but I'm just doing something basic today because we've been going on for about 45 minutes. Uh, so, yeah. Right. So, like I was saying, the fencing. Now, I'm just going to put this in random places. Uh, not really going to think about where it's going to go. You know, I never really do. And you just fill up the areas as you go. Uh, and in that way, it, you know, it builds up quite nicely. So, uh... Take that away. There we go. Put a fence in there. And basically, I'm going to work my way all the way around with the fences. And that way, um, there's an even amount, like so. So now I'm going to put in the bush, you know, the leaves, put them in randomly, uh, you know, mainly next to the path area, some just out of the way, just like this, uh, but mainly next to the path area. And then what we do is after that, once it's finished, we do the final bone meal and it really picks everything up. So let's get cracking. There we go. Obviously I'm just showing you this bit, you know, kind of it's probably one of the easier bits to do. But you know, <clears throat> it's nice watching it come together. I'll probably just transform bits and bobs here and there uh, off camera. Put leafage there like that. Yeah, I'll clean it up a little bit, but the basis is all here. Oh, I messed up. <clears throat> the basis is all here. Oh. There we go. I'm probably going to put some of these. Yeah, I think that'll do. I think that's plenty. So you should have something looking like this now. Well, I hope you do. <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do quickly, I'm just going to build a quick custom tree. We're not going to do it all, but I'll just show you the basis, how I build them. I basically put five up, I do some random uh, branches, like so. Uh, it doesn't really matter where you're going to have them, as long as it's spread out. <coughs> Pardon me. 
so this is how I would basically uh, do a small tree, you know, um, and build up forestry, it's just doing the same way. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to use just the oak leaves because it's my tree, so it doesn't have to be dark oak. But I'm not going to do all of this for you, uh, I'm just showing you how I do it. Basically what I do is I hit every block. Up, down, round it, everywhere, it doesn't matter where it is. Just hit every block and then fill it up. Like this. And then when it's finished like that, you have a whole tree. <clears throat> and for decoration, you know, you can put the, uh, we'll do a bit of foliage. I'm not quite finished with the foliage because we're going to do the bone meal next. I get like this. You know, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's all random. I mean, normally I'd put lighting and stuff like I said earlier. Uh, but I'm not doing that today. Just here and there. Like so. So now there's quite a few bits and bobs all laid out and spread it's just a case of just bone mealing it out now so you just keep going around and as you go around what you do is um you know like like you see the ones on the edge like uh give you an example uh like that not there like here you bring that one up so it's like double the height so you know you've got like different lengths and textures that always adds character well, I like it anyway. I don't know about yourselves. You might not like as much bone meal. You might not want to do as much, but it's up to yourself. There we go. And eventually, you know, once this is all bone mealed out and uh, ready, because basically that's all it is now. It's just a case of bone meal, bone meal, bone meal, which doesn't take long. It takes a couple of minutes. And uh, I think we'll do the final sh uh, product in shaders. So let's have a look at it. And this is it. So now, if you've done what I've been uh, uh, showing you, you'll have something like this. And this can be done in survival mode without any problems at all. Um, it just takes a bit longer, obviously. You can do this in creative mode for your role plays or whatever. But yeah, um, I like it. I don't know what you think. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of this build. I uh, hope it wasn't too hard for you to follow. I mean, um, I've got a problem with my mic right now, so um, it's a bit fuzzy. The volume went up all of a sudden, etc. But I hope you were able to follow. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, but yeah. The little rustic home. And it's got nice textures and nice details. You know. I like it. I like it. And I hope you do too. And if you do, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, give it a like as well. Uh, the video. It'd be lovely. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, obviously it took quite a bit of time, but I was expecting it to take a while anyway, you know, because I wanted to show you as much as possible. Um, and I'm gonna do more builds, kinda compact them down, so I hope you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe. And uh, yeah, I will uh, see you again soon. Bye bye.